Hello, greetings from a field. The spring is now in full swing. The weather is sunny, temperatures are high. Today, we're in a field where an interesting form of cultivation is taking place. It is strip-till technology where soil is prepared in strips for corn seeding. Come and have a look at the advantages of the technology and what machines are working here. What is strip-till technology about? Many people may think that it is only a method of soil cultivation that mostly aims at saving fuel. However, it's quite the contrary. Naturally, this technology is economical, but it is mostly designed to be considerate to soil and soil moisture. As you can see, strip-till technology means that the soil is processed in strips and not over the entire area, such as with a universal cultivator or another soil cultivating machine. There is a cultivated strip uncultivated interrow, and a cultivated strip again. As you can see, the cultivated strip is very well aerated. The soil is fine thanks to the effective work of the cultivating knives. The cultivation unit or the knife create a growing tray where the soil warms up faster. It creates better conditions for seed emergence, corn in this case. Also, water gets absorbed better. Then we have a part that is not cultivated, the interrow. In this field, a catch crop has been established, phacelia and field peas. There is also unwanted preliminary crop growth, wheat. This interrow contains catch crop that protects soil with its own root system and partially aerates it, but above all, the catch crop creates a cover until the corn grows and creates the first leaves that cover the interrow. The catch crop absorbs soil moisture better, so when there is some sudden or heavy rain, the water does not flow away from the field, but it is retained thanks to the catch crop. This is a technology that helps with wind and water erosion. Another advantage of this technology is that you can do several operations in one pass, as in this case, when superphosphate is applied into the interrows, which means that the fertilizer is applied locally. Once again, it does not have to be applied all over the area because the corn seed or plant can reach the fertilizer in its root zone during emergence and vegetation. Here, superphosphate is placed to a depth of about 10 centimeters, batched at 100 kilograms per hectare. We have introduced the main advantages that the strip-till technology brings. Come and have a look at the set aggregated with the tractor, the Front Bednar Fertibox, and the Bednar Stripmaster Cultivator. The Front Bednar Fertibox FB2000F is connected to the front three-point hitch. It is a single chamber hopper with a total capacity of 1,900 liters. As you can see, the hopper is equipped for safe road transportation. It has lights in the front and red hatching. The access to the hopper is easy. There are two filling chambers, so you can fill with two bags at once. The important thing to mention is that the Bednar brand uses pressurization in all its hoppers as well as seed drills, which is better because it also allows us to apply lower quality fertilizer or to apply larger batches. The hopper is controlled easily via isobus, so you only need one display in the tractor where you can easily transfer the control terminal or the front hopper screen. We're at the back of the tractor where you can see the new model of the Bednar Stripmaster EN6000 cultivator in the rear three-point hitch. It is a model with a working span of 6 meters. As you can see, there are large support and tracing wheels on the front that are used for tracing the field and for maintaining the set working depth. We're now by the cultivation unit, which is the main working part of the machine. As you can see, the cultivation unit is different to the original Stripmaster EN875 model. It is a cultivation unit developed by Bednar. What is new on this cultivation unit is the hydraulic cultivation knife protection. Why hydraulic? The machine can work on a depth of up to 30 centimeters where there may be rocks. The hydraulic protection protects the knife from damage. It is more convenient for the operator because there is no need to replace the shear bolts. I'd like to mention one interesting thing here. The cultivation units are mounted to the main frame with a clamp. Each cultivation unit is equipped with a parallelogram. As you know from the Bednar Omega seed drills, the PSP system perfectly maintains the set working depth and also the surface tracing. When looking at the details, you can see that there is a large cutting disc at the front. 
the cutting disc creates grooves and facilitates the work of the main cultivation chisel or knife. Each cultivation unit is equipped with two support wheels to maintain the working depth and provide perfect tracing. After the cutting disc, there are cleaning discs. There is a left and a right one for each cultivation unit. The cleaning disc removes plant material in the row. Then there is the main part, the cultivation knife or chisel that can work to a depth of up to 35 centimeters. As I've said before, the cultivation knife has hydraulic protection, and the release force of the cultivation knife is about 750 kilograms. There are guide discs on the sides of the cultivation knife. Once again, a right and a left disc which keeps the soil cultivated by the knife in the row. It prevents soil from being thrown to the left and to the right at the set working speed. The roller is the final part of the machine. This is a tube packer, but we offer an entire range of various rollers, guide discs, as well as the front cutting discs. We put emphasis on making the operation of the Stripmaster EN cultivator as well as the other machines simple for the tractor driver. As you can see, the rear rollers, guide discs, or the cultivation knives are easily adjustable using pins or these mechanisms. As we're now in a field where superphosphate is applied to the soil in a batch of 100 kg per hectare, this machine is equipped with a distribution head for mineral fertilizers. However, it is not a problem when choosing the configuration of the machine to choose a distribution head for liquid fertilizers, such as manure or digestate. A great competitive advantage of this machine is that it has a universal frame and can be equipped with up to 12 cultivation units that can work with an inter-row spacing of 45 to 50 centimeters. It is suitable for strip-till soil cultivation before seeding soya or sugar beet. When the frame is equipped with 12 cultivation units, the cultivation units are offset, so one cultivation unit is long, the other one is short. The advantage is that when the machine works with large quantities of crop residue, or in the catch crop, the individual working parts do not get clogged and there's not material stuck between the individual cultivation trucks. Strip-till technology is definitely a big topic not for the future, but in the present. If you would like to try a strip-till cultivator, contact your Bednar dealer. If you liked this video, please subscribe and follow us on social networks or at our Bednar website. Have a good day and see you soon in the field again.